start by congratulating all women on the celebration of International Women's Day. As we all know, March 8th has been set aside by the United Nations as an International Women's Day to globally celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievement of women. It is also used as a wake-up call for women to rise up to their responsibilities. For women in engineering and technology, some national analysis have shown that the gender parity seems to be widening despite the increasing efforts by many organizations and professional bodies. This was also confirmed by the World Economic Forum's global report for 2016. The report, which covered education, health and survival, economic opportunity and political empowerment, reported that the economic parity will close about 21.33 and that the gender gap won't close entirely until 2186. We can then imagine what it is for women in science, engineering, and technology. These findings cannot be proven otherwise until women recognize the fact that they are important catalysts for driving economic growth and creating greater change in any nation, and therefore take responsibility for what is expected to be done. The theme for this year's celebration, Be Bold for Change, is a hard wake-up call for all women in engineering and technology. To be able to resolve all issues militating against progress, there must be a determined collective drive by all women in engineering and technology, coming together and speaking in one voice, taking up the challenge to speak up for themselves as no one would do it for them. We must not get ourselves prepared for the challenges ahead. We must plan our strategies and determine what works in our different regions. We therefore must, as a matter of urgency, set our goals, determine our strategies, collective and individual strategies. We must all be prepared to really rise up to the enormous task ahead of us. We must get prepared for leadership. And above all, we must know what sacrifices we are willing to make, both individually and collectively. Women engineers must adopt and practice boldness, which must start from building and developing self-confidence, that we create opportunities in their respective fields. Self-confidence comes from enhancing your capacity and your capabilities. We must act with boldness at all times. We must stop looking for excuses or using the family as excuses not to do what we have to do. We must take up that challenge and do it well. It is time for all women in engineering and technology to rise up and be bold. And that means being honest with yourselves and others, willing to say no and disappoint some individuals, being able to disagree regardless of authority or hierarchy, ready to face challenges, knowing you don't need to be liked by everybody, and be ready to ask tough questions without painting it to look lovely. Above all, being bold is the first and the last step to creating any kind of change. Dear ladies, if we must make a change, then now is the time. There are lots of things we can do to make it easier for the next generation of women engineers. It is time to make our world good. And as we follow through with bold actions, we will only be a step towards achieving that which we desire, a world of gender parity in engineering and technology. Congratulations once again as we make our plans, develop our strategies, and take actions to make the world a better world.